your web camera is always on autopilot, so most of us look terrible on camera. I'm going to show you a hidden setting to trick your web camera into making you look better. These days we're all going on camera for meetings, on Zoom, on Facebook, on YouTube Live, or to talk about our business, something like that. And for Facebook and Zoom calls, most of us are using webcams or the camera that's built into our phone, tablet, or laptop. And all of those cameras have wide angle lenses. Now, in another video that I posted recently, I went through a checklist of several things that you can do to look and sound better on camera. And I guess that video kind of struck a chord. There were a bunch of views. And then Jefferson Graham over at USA Today interviewed me for a story about it. Anyway, today I want to talk a little bit about one specific thing that I didn't cover in that other video the automatic exposure that your webcam tries to use. Because it can make you look really bad, and it can be hard to figure out why you look so bad. Now, I ran across this issue when I was actually creating a few still shots from the webcam for my USA Today article. I did one shot from my webcam where I was just doing about everything wrong that you could do. The camera was too low, looking up my nose. I had a shirt on with bad patterns and that would interfere with most cameras when you're on video. The lighting was bad. I was too close to the camera so I had big round balloon head and my skin was shiny. And then I adjusted the camera placement and the distance. And then the second shot that I took was a lot better, but it still wasn't great. The problem was the automatic exposure of the webcam. Everything was too dark, so I had to really turn up my backlight brightness that was on my wall so that my shirt and my skin tone were looking okay. But even then, the background was so bright that it was practically blown out halo. This happens because the camera looks at the overall scene and it tries to balance the light overall. A dark shirt and the dark-ish background and dark hair and a black leather chair all made my scene look way too dark for my face. So to fix it, all I did was I turned the backlight back down so it wasn't a glowing halo, and then I switched to a light colored shirt. That way the automatic exposure which was much more evenly balanced and it evenly balanced the colors better so my skin looked better, like a more natural tone. I hope this helps you get a better experience out of your webcam for your Zooms and Facebook Live videos. And if it helps, please like, share, and subscribe. And one more thing, I wrote a book called Great On Camera, and it's coming out later this month, hopefully this week. It's not all about the tech stuff like this, but there is a little bit of tech in there. It's really about all the things that you need to know to be great on camera, how to talk and what to say, recipes for different kinds of videos, things like business videos, social media videos, customer service videos, training videos, live streams, and it's the kind of things that you can do to look great be friendly, sound smart, and really connect with your audience and attract the biggest possible audience. Just swing by my website, greatoncamera.com. I have courses on the site and I'm adding tips and tricks videos like this one all the time. I'll be back again later with more tips videos like this on Facebook and on YouTube. I'm Larry Becker. Thanks for watching.